My dear friends in Jesus Christ, every human being, every human person aspires to be happy, including priests and clergy. And that is the ultimate goal, purpose in life, in my opinion. But can the human person be truly happy in this world? If I were to ask you the question, are you truly, truly happy in your life right now? Just ask yourself. Are you truly happy in your life right now most of us might say yes we are happy with adding two conjunctions to our happiness but and if but and if I asked this same question from a few friends of mine recently. I am happy father, one said, but I am nervous and I am under tremendous stress in terms of my job security. I cannot sleep at night. I get angry. I have quarrels with my family members. I have no peace of mind, but I'm happy. Another, I'm happy, but I could be happier if I get a better job or a promotion with salary increased. I'm happy, but I'm restless until I finish my house renovation. I have no peace of mind. I want to see that it's finished, accomplished. I'm happy, but I'll be delighted if I could move from my apartment to a luxury apartment. I'll be the happiest the day I'll be able to become the most successful businessman in town. These answers, my dear friends, made me realize that happiness, we tend to think happiness is something outside of ourselves. We tend to believe happiness, true happiness depends on our achievements, fulfilling our set goals and targets. Until such time, we postpone our true happiness. But for a believer, for a Christian, for a follower of Jesus, a person who has been created in the image and likeness of God, true happiness is to know and to uncover the divine element in us, divinity in us. Because we are human and we are divine as well. There's a divine element in us. And that is what we believe. We were created in the image and likeness of God. When we come to church to take part in the Eucharist, when we receive Jesus in the Eucharist, when we pray, when we make our confession, when we spend hours in the presence of the Lord, 
we strive, we strive to know, to uncover the divine element in us. It is a process, my dear friends, it's a process in which we are to recognize, repent, feel sorry for our inhuman qualities. We are to recognize and accept, acknowledge and die to our human frailties, vulnerabilities, temptations, brokenness and our own sinfulness. We are to let go our undue attachments to the things of this world so that we could uncover that beautiful divine element in us that gives us ultimate happiness in life true happiness in life true meaning in life and that is what we are looking for that is what we are here for not to ask for raffle draw or earthly things no jesus give us true happiness in my life Having everything at our disposal, basically pointless if we do not have that true happiness in life. And that is what most of the saints whom we venerate and honor experienced. They uncovered in the presence of the Lord by experiencing unconditional love of Jesus. They uncovered that true divine element in them. They became better human beings, better followers of Jesus, true Christians. Such one example, if I place before you, is St. Augustine, whom you know very well. As a young man, looked for happiness in every way, lived a very immoral life, went straying his life, but he never found true happiness but restlessness in his life more and more frustration in his life more and more until the day he experienced through his scriptures in him there is divinity there is divine element he found rest to himself and said my heart is restless O Lord until it rests in thee. So my dear friends, let us make use of our time when we spend our time in the Lord. Not to just ask things of this world, material things, but true happiness and the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that we can uncover ourselves and find true divine element in us. Let this be our prayer during this Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.